All right, guys, now this was my bear ranch. All my bears died on the way here, and these are their graves. So I kind of just finished the episode and called it quits. And um, one of the other YouTubers on this server, Aaron, he was not happy with that. I guess he wants me to keep this uh, bear ranch going, or he just wants me to have a couple of bears. All right, let's check these two out. I saw, I think, some pretty high levels. Jeez, dude. Oh, those are awesome. But what is going on guys unite the clans here back in yo life we are back on the amazing iron mine arc youtuber server today i think is going to be one of those fun episodes i think it's going to be one of those oh hi what's going on guys uh it's going to be one of those episodes where i'm running around a little bit and i got a bunch of different things i want to cover in this episode first and foremost uh one of the newer slash oldest members of this server has uh has returned so he's new in the sense that i've never had the chance to play with him he hasn't been around in a while but he used to play here and that's uh aaron i think his channel is boring lp and he claims he has given me a gift uh and judging from when he asked about it and the fact that i don't see uh, a gift kicking around this place. I have a feeling I know where it might be. He was asking if I might be the type to take a gift after um, all my bears got stomped in the Redwoods. And I know he's got some beauties. So I'm guessing that is what we will be seeing later today. But beyond that, Aaron has chosen a place to build. And his place to build is supposed to be on Crags Island. Now that's cool. This is a big old place. And you can see what I've managed to accomplish in my short time since that jer jerk, the Titano, where is he? You up here somewhere, buddy? There's just Titano kicking around this island and he's wreaking, there he is. He's wreaking pure havoc, tearing out every tree in the place. They all have unofficial names, the three on our server. This one is DeForest Whitaker. He has deforested the entire area. Uh, but Aaron said that he built somewhere around where this big old freak is stomping around. I hate this guy hate him so much. I wanted to build a village like there. There we go. I wanted to build a village uh, with the houses lining the trees. And that's fine until something destroys all your trees and there's a respawn radius where trees won't grow back. Stupid. So, for example, if I broke these trees on the top of this little mound, they would never be back. So, we found Aaron's house. If he has in fact given us a gift, we are going to return the favor. I have never had a neighbor. The best neighbor, closest neighbor I had was Jello, and I haven't seen her on a lot lately. She lives just across the water from me. But to share a land mass, which kind of, I mean, technically there's water separating, but I consider that little crescent of land at the end of Craig's Island, part of Craig's Island. So give me a sec, guys. I'm going to look around my good stuff, and we're going to make a little care package for old Aaron B, and then we're going to go try and find his gift somewhere. All right, guys, so I have gathered a pretty decent uh, little care package, but the thing is, I don't want to be too generous because I get the feeling that Aaron is going to be Let's Playing, where he's slowly progressing through the levels, taking on the challenges as they come to you in this game, basically doing a series on his survival and his ability to level up. That's what it seemed, at least. So I'm going to keep the first gift rather humble, and then maybe next time around we'll dip into some flak armor, or that chitin armor that I never wear. And maybe next time we could do some... We'll see. We'll see. If he accepts this gift, I'll prepare another. But maybe I could bring him that stuff. Uh, if it wouldn't put him too far ahead of the game. So it is quickly getting dark. Let's fly over there. Let's chase the dang sun. I'm a little slow. I don't think we're making it. I'll come back in the morning. <laughs> All right, guys, the sun is risen enough. So this is Aaron's place. I'm not going to look around too much in case he still wants to show it off on a video. Uh, so let's have a look around front door. Oh, not going to be inconspicuous out here. You know what? Ooh, 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 ooh. Whose body is this? I thought he was online. Never mind. Guess he's not online right now. Uh, Yeah, let's do it out here. Perfect. So here is the random conglomeration of stuff I brought. We're going to do a small storage chest, and I brought another one just in case it ain't going to be good enough. Okay, put you there. And so I started with my thing that's full of building pieces, and I can't imagine I'm using these or a bed, which he's already got, but you never know. A mortar and pestle is useful. Large storage, some stupid flags. 
Yeah, I won't be able to fit this all in. Uh, and then some standing torches. And then I also brought some random stuff. Let's give them the parachute, the water skin, the uh, bow, pick, boom, maybe half of my stone arrows. And then I'll put down one other box here. Feel me a saddle. I just found that in a drop. I should have brought a parasaur saddle, but I don't think I have a spare one kicking around. And then we will. Do I have one more box? Yes, I do. All right, God. he's over on the other side of the river. You can still feel the impact. Dude, seriously, ruining the video. Okay, check this out. Oh, why don't I try this on first? This is some extra armor I had kicking around. All right, let's see how good a look this is. Is this gonna be embarrassing to wear around? That's, the hat is really embarrassing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, dude. That's my gift. Uh. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh, uh, you can re-dye it, Aaron. I got a dye shop just up the beach. White is not the coolest color for that particular outfit. Oh, you look like a individual sperm cell. Okay, open you up. And then guys, we have got a plan. We gotta go find the gift that Aaron says he's given to us. I got a pretty good idea of where to head. I'm gonna park Sun Chaser. I'm going to grab my Quetz, my new one, and we are gonna head into the Redwoods. Check out the the what once was a bear farm, then all my bears died. Maybe we'll be able to make it one again. We shall see. Oh, Chris is online. Exciting night on the server. Okay, let's roll. We have one order of business before we head to the forest. This is my newest quetz, Rogue. And these don't appear here very often, but we got a Spino off the bow. Level 44, ain't nothing we can't handle, although this is her first battle. So let's try this thing out. I think we'll be fine. She is a level 280 Quetz. We tamed her up at Lady M's place. Get wrecked, idiot. Get destroyed. Get obliterated. Is he dead yet? Oh, damage ain't, ain't amazing yet. We're gonna have to up that. There you go. Take that, you stupid Spino. Beautiful. Okay, to the Redwoods we go. What have we got here? Shoot. I was expecting a dire bear, guys, and look what we got. We got two of them. Let's turn that off there for a sec. Uh, and I have a rope ladder that should get me up there. All right, guys, now this was my bear ranch. All my bears died on the way here, and these are their graves. So I kind of just finished the episode and called it quits. And um, one of the other YouTubers on this server, Aaron, he was not happy with that. I guess he wants me to keep this uh, bear ranch going, or he just wants me to have a couple of bears because of how my wolf died in that episode too. Uh, so let's climb on up this little rope ladder. I'm glad I put that there. All right, let's check these two out. I saw, I think, some pretty high levels. Jeez, dude. Oh, those are awesome. That's cool. Okay, so 193, uh, mate boosted male. Okay, and a 179 mate boosted female, complete with saddles, just waiting to be named. How cool is that? Does it say following? Following, yeah. I must have whistled them somehow. I have no idea. Oh, Lord. That's a lot of stuff. I guess I gotta empty out the old uh, inventory, but uh, I'm gonna name these guys. I think it's probably gonna be Mama and Papa. Because if this is a bear ranch, it means breeding bears. Now that's not something I want to do a whole lot of, but maybe if I get it set up just right with two high level ones, maybe someone else will want to come and breed bears here. Or I'll give it a try. We'll see. It's not gonna be this episode though. So uh, I'm gonna get the materials. I actually still have them with me, I think. Uh, and I will come back and we are gonna fence this in and make a front yard, a sort of farm area. Uh, we're gonna keep it small at first because we just have the two bears and then we're gonna let them wander free. And see if they start making babies. All right, let's do this thing. All right, guys, we are back with two bears. I have got tons of uh, equipment for f like uh, fencing these guys in and getting this ranch off to a good start. So I am gonna turn the HUD on for building. It certainly makes it easier. We have got on us wooden pillar, wooden railing, 
and wooden fence. So what I'm picturing, guys, is a nice low one. If anything breaks in here, a bear can mess it up, especially if we got a bunch of these guys. So I'm not worried about that. Um, what I want is something that's going to look good and that they won't just wander over. So we're going to try uh, one of the wooden railings. And you can build flat on the ground with these foundation. Uh, whatever you call them, uh, fence foundations. And they can snap, or they often snap, to building pieces. But I think it's only walls. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be snapping here. Uh, oh, maybe it is. No, never mind. Okay, so I'm going to get out uh, started laying a framework, guys. It's going to be slow work, and I need to test a few things to see if a bear can just wander over the edge of it. So give me a little time. I'll try and show you some of this on camera, but I'll probably bring it down to here if I have enough material and follow it around the edge of this before looping back maybe through this big tree or around this big tree. Through it would be cool. So maybe we'll try that. Uh, yeah, that's a neat idea. Welcome back, guys. What is going on? That was not a wave, but it'll work. Uh, we are back, and uh, I say my usual intro because it has been days since I recorded part one of this episode, and I'll show you the progress that we made in between. We just had some server outage issues, uh, bad weather down in Texas where the server is hosted, and it got knocked out in the midst of recording this episode, and then I began a busy couple of days of work so we are back and this is what we're looking at i went ahead and like i said i did most of the work off camera we got ourselves a little fence i even included a little human gate that a bear can't fit through but we got a big old gate for the bears as well and that comes out to here i may add ramps or something like that to transition you down there or we may put another building out there if we do decide to expand this but let me grab the torch because it's dark in the shade do i have a torch i think i have a torch so here's Mama, here's Papa. If I don't have them on wandering, let's do that. Uh, I don't think we're getting a baby in this episode, but we might as well start the process of these two mating. Uh, I have only done this once. Where is it? Enable wandering. Okay. So Papa's already roaming around. Mama also. This is a big space for them to actually be in when you've got them in uh, mating mode because if they don't stay super close... It'll, it won't happen, but watch this. If I bring Papa over there, uh, near them, near Mama, I'll hop him off, and now they should both have, see those little hearts above the pink heart? Pink heart means they're mate boosted, the red ones mean they're mating. Uh, so if I were to head over to Mama, oh, she's out of range now, but there'd be a bar that says p mating process and how much it is. I'll just let them do their thing, and I'll show you guys what we have done. Uh, I went and added a wall all around the outside combo of double high wooden railings and pillars uh, and the gate and this is all laid out on fence foundations where my two spots met. I started at one side of the house, ended at the other, or started at both sides of the house and met in the middle and where I met there was this perfect little gap. I put pillars on the end, a bear cannot get through there but a human can. You often have those sort of things in a farm where there's a gate meant for people right next to the big old gate meant for the, uh, the livestock, which I guess these guys are. But now that we've gotten this far, I feel like something is missing here, guys. So the spot that I park my quets, usually over here, I parked her out there um, for this episode. But what I'm thinking is that we are maybe going to expand this building ever so slightly. And I think what might be involved is demolishing these railings. Uh, so I'm not sure what I got in my inventory. Let me see. Yeah, I've got a lot. So let's take a look at the ceiling. We might want to make more stone pillars if this is what we're doing. But I'm thinking we could extend this way and at least one. And then what I'll have on this ground level, if it works, is a pass-through, another one, human size. And then above, I might expand this building ever so slightly. But um, we'll see. I'm going to get started doing some work on that and see if I can maybe expand this uh, just so it feels more complete. I didn't like the way that the railings met the trees here. So we're going to play around with some ideas. I might, once again, do a bunch of this off camera because I'm trying to get a bunch of little things accomplished in this episode. Speaking of, here, let's take a look at the mating progress. There you go. So if they stay within range for that long. Now what, I should probably build a little side pen that's only small enough for two bears that can't get out of each other's range. But if they stay here for long enough, they are going to pop out a little baby bear. So that'll be interesting and maybe something for a future episode. But for now, I'm going to get started doing some work. Roughly going to match the style of that building as I expand it to include this little area here. And I will come back with you guys. 
All right, guys, I'm still not sure how this is going to come out looking, but I have got us at least. Ooh, I got to make sure I do that right. Flip it. Yeah, that's the look. Right. Oh, that is not what I chose, is it? Shoot. Why would you do that to me? The misclicks in this game are so hard to deal with. That looks right. It is right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is do that on the second level. I'm going to flip it because uh, if we're going to close this off, uh, I think I'll probably do a door frame there. But if it was a wall, I would go ahead and sh use the opposite texture, the one with the wood showing like this. And then down here, we're going to continue the process. So I want the stone texture showing, but I will do a door here. So we'll just do this piece on the end. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do a piece on the end, am I? Requires foundation support. Okay, so we may be able to force a foundation in there once we have one or two of these walls. Let me try that. I got the um, stone door frames on me right now. So we can uh, give that an attempt. So we want the stone texture. That is the one that we should get. Perfect. And then do I have a stone foundation? Can I make a stone foundation? I might be short on wood. We will see. No, perfect. I'll craft one. I'll throw it on my hotbar, and oh, you know what? I could have tried with the wooden, but we'll try with the stone and see what we can get happening. Uh, so let's see if you will. Yeah, it, it will play along. There is a way somewhere in here to force it into position. It just might be. Hmm. Okay. So it might, I don't know, we might have to mess around with it a little bit just to get something that's going to actually look good. I haven't figured out how this will work. Maybe I'll have to put a ceiling with a pillar i don't know how that'll work if well, I'll, I'll keep messing around guys i uh don't want to leave you too long so i'm gonna try and do some more work on this gather up the materials i'm building on the fly so that's why i'm taking breaks in between showing things to you but i will be back all right guys welcome back i think my additions are almost done i'm not sure yet how i feel about these uh, changes i've made but i have expanded this thing out so i started uh, with this deck that was already here, putting a couple stone door frames and a ramp, so I have a pass through onto the deck. I do need a wooden railing for here, so let's see if I can craft that. Uh, and if I can, I'll craft one of the stone ones too, because I have a plan for that. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw these on our hotbar, and I will show you the rest of what I did, and then we are probably going to bring this episode to a close. So then I continued the pattern we had here uh, with the inner stone texture facing out and then the wood texture having the standard outer texture face out now these pillars were already here they're the same ones you have on this end of the deck however i went and added these now i did run into a very weird issue let's see if i can f still fix it i doubt i'm going to be able to but um i can't seem to replace this last chunk with stone and i've tried it at every stage of the build before there was a wall here before there was a foundation here and it seems I still can't. So that's going to have to stay a weird, derpy little bit of uh, wood pillar there. Uh, but we extended those up high enough to take a slanted roof on there. And then if we do sneak through, uh, there's not a great way. So you see what I had to do here? I couldn't fill this floor in. So the wall would have stopped right there. And it looked really weird. So I squeezed the foundation in. And now it's like a crawl space. You can totally get through here, not a problem, but what you got is a crawl space instead of a, pass, a real pass-through. So that's what it looks like. It looks okay, and then I couldn't place a wall at the standard height here, so I placed one here, and what we got is it coming halfway up through here, which is not something you normally get. So I think to try and cap that off, let's go ahead and throw that stone railing on there. Yeah, that is weird, but it works. It encloses this little area. Not sure what we're going to put there, but we do need an easy way in and out of the house. So if I haven't, let me turn the HUD back on and hopefully first try I can get this. Now that looks wrong. Flip it and that looks right. It is right. Cool. We got a way into the house, sort of. I guess we still got to crouch our way into the house. That is too annoying. I have a wooden door frame. Let's try putting it up there. I think I have a wooden door frame. I do. I was thinking about this, wondering if this would solve the problems with getting in and out of this house. My character is slightly too tall. Perfect. That should be fine now. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to do that over the other doors, but uh, it might be worth a try. Let's make a couple more. Uh, this won't be enough for all the doors, but if I can do... Flip you. Whoops. That is not right either. 
that is perfect so if we didn't have a door here we'd be able to glide in and out same thing over here so i may eventually make that change having an empty door frame above us i wonder even if a door in there is going to get in our way we'll see maybe we can clip through the door because i have one of those as well so let's go ahead and try that and now can i just glide through i can Okay, so that might be the solution. I'll get a couple doors. I will close in uh, the top sections here. Why don't I do that real quick, get this place looking just perfect, and uh, then we'll call it quits on this episode, guys. All right, finishing frickin' touches. So, uh, this is a bear ranch. We started it several episodes back, and uh, I never quite finished it up. And uh, you can see I still need a couple pieces, I guess. I don't know if I have the resources to do that. Let's try. No, I definitely don't. But um, the issue that I was having here is with a wall up top, you couldn't pass through because you've got ceilings here and foundations here and my character is just too tall. But I have solved that problem. Look, I can leave those closed. I can have what still looks like a wall and I can pass in and out. And we've done the same thing in this edition that we built this episode. So. If you have a look, after exchanging gifts with Aaron B and checking out these bears, building them a pen, we have added this small addition to our ranch house, and I think probably I'm going to visit this spot from time to time to continue building, to continue working on it, and um, to make this a spot where we can actually breed some bears. As you can see, we got Mama and Papa trying their best right now to get it on and make some baby bears. Uh, they are may need a custom breeding pen because they this space is just too big but i love the idea that we have a bear farm and these guys just wander free doing their own thing it's just cool i like it so thank you to aaron for hooking me up with these bears thank you to you guys for checking out this episode of arc survival evolved from the fate my favorite place in arc the iron mine server loving every minute here and our new spot overlooking our redwood village over there that's gonna do it guys my name's unite the clans i'm here with my monkey and we will see you guys in the next episode a while back guys i joined the iron mine arc server full of some active youtubers and we are now 40 episodes deep into this season of arc survival evolved i wanted to thank you all for your support so far for my tribe mates on iron mine for theirs and uh if you are brand new to this series i wanted to reach out to you uh if you've tuned in recently, this is the first or one of the first videos you've seen. The one that's playing in front of your face is episode one. If you click on that video, you'll go back to the beginning and be able to start from the beginning. Uh, for those of you that have been around a while and you're worried you missed some of the better episodes, click the little letter I at the top right corner of your screen. Those are the cards and I will put uh, four or five of my favorite videos in that list from this series. That does it for this one, guys, and I'm going to play you out with a minute from episode one. <laughs> What's going on, okay. Unite the Clans here? Uh, I am on our new server. This is the Iron Mind server. There's Cryo and uh, Lady M. What's up, guys? We're hanging out to watch you do your special yeah, yeah. run. Yeah, this is, I this guess, is an a, initiation. <laughs> a rite of passage. It's called the Death Run. Uh, you just start off down this river, and I'm, I'm just going to, yeah, I guess we'll, I guess we'll just start running. Uh, you start off down this river, and you head into the most dangerous part of the map, and you just see what you can do. Oh, I already see a Carno, which is awesome. Uh...